The beef. Soft, tender slices right to your teeth. That's why you have to come here for the beef. Their beef is amazing. Trust us on this, okay? This is part two of the ultimate Chinatown food tour right here in Honolulu. Aloha, I'm Sean Kalipone, and we're gonna review 10 food places in this video. Yes, I said 10. Oh, the chili kicks in after. Oh. From old school Asian foods to Asian cuisine with a new school twist, Chinatown appeals to all generations. Speaking of generations, I have a special guest that used to bring me here back in the 1980s. I saw all the comments and everything was about my mom. You asked for her. Are you ready to go on this adventure? Then let's go. There are some areas that are a little sketchy in Chinatown, but if you come in the daytime, police presence is everywhere. We are in Chinatown, Honolulu. And it is rainy today. And just to let everyone know that in Hawaii, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. And with my wife Nee's beautiful smile, she brings sunshine on this not so great weather day. So if it's open, oh, we're going. We're gonna go to the Vietnamese stand and see if she is there. Hello, ciao. Hi, yeah, we remember, yeah, we said we'll come back and record. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, come on. Come on. Yeah, speak to it. Speak to Vietnamese. <laughs> and this is the owner, the mother of the yeah. store. And uh, she put the names of uh, the sons. Yeah, Gan and T are the nicknames of the owner's sons. T, one of the sons, is working today. What Nhi said is that she feels like the luckiest woman in the world being married yeah. to me. So she tells everyone that in Vietnamese. <laughs> and usually we pass by here and I love the Vietnamese section. I mean, I love Vietnamese food, but this is so authentic. If you want some authentic food, it's cheap to go. I usually go here. They have everything from Vietnamese fruits, desserts, snacks, lunch plates, and meals. This is only half of the food section due to the rain. Regardless, this is still a great selection. And they had the Vietnamese version of Halo Halo for only six dollars. So this is the Vietnamese version of Halo Halo, and how do you say it? Jia Mao. Jia Mao. Oh, I need a lot of help with Vietnamese. <laughs> this version of Halo Halo, the Vietnamese style, is very good. One thing I can say that stands out is that the food was delicious, and it was for a great price. So all of these are six dollars, except for this one, which is special. Uh, that's for seven. And then we got typical pork cash. That's one is at home for six dollars. Most of the bentos cost between six to seven dollars. Oh yeah. Most of the desserts cost only three seventy-five. This is five dollars. Oh, we're getting that because not only that thing is popping out to me. It looks cute, mm -hmm. yeah. and we're gonna get that for sure with the hollow hollow and we had this the last time we were able to point out to this and it is so good and it's crazy i'll show it to you more when we eat what is this called may i ask it's look like a natu so it's like in Vietnamese we call it it's like two bread yeah i see you on youtube oh yeah yeah oh no thank you for watching we're gonna buy the food and we're gonna go sit down and eat somewhere i can't wait to show you guys this the dessert and what else are we gonna grab? We're gonna grab some traditional dishes today that I usually love. Bún sạt nướng, bói cún, summer rolls, bánh bèo. I love bánh bèo. 
and the Vietnamese look fun with pork is a must try too. You have to eat it with some veggies and fish sauce. And the big bentos are $12 and can be mixed with rice. So much Vietnamese food in one small stand. Okay, and ooh, and, 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 ooh, and what is this exactly? Pendant rice cake. Ooh, look at that. That is green like the Hulk. Okay? And it looks so moist inside. Oh my. And the top is soft and the bread is this is quality. Hulkish bread going in my mouth right now. Three, two, one. I've never had bread that tasted like it came from a banana lumpia. It tastes good, really good. Uh, and I smell a little bit of coconut here. And just by the texture, I already know this is gonna be good. So let me try. Oh yeah, this is really good. This is how it's supposed to taste, but even better because it's so soft and I love it. And has that coconut smell from the leaf that you saw more fluffy, really squeezy. It's very delicious, wow. Another specialty of Vietnam is the sticky rice cake, usually eaten for special occasions like New Year's and weddings. The filling might look like eggs, but it's bean and coconut. This is what life's about. Life is about taking care of your family and eating good food. And we're just covering the second thing today. <laughs> This is like a like a breakfast with a little bit of eggs and dessert. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I think that would go perfect <laughs> with, the, with that. Oh yes, of course, yes. Ooh, thank you. The sesame seed, the crunchiness outside that is like pure sugar and inside is beans. This is called ban cam, which is directly translated orange cake, but there's no orange inside. I had similar Chinese desserts like this, but not with this kind of glaze, not with this kind of crisp though, on the outside though. So that just put the icing on the cake. A gam un and hien gap lai. I speak fluent Vietnamese, you didn't know that, right? So, <laughs> uh, I'm joking, of course. Now we're gonna go find a place and eat some of this food. Now let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Gamun, Gamun. Gamun, Kam Ga Ji, Sin Loi, and Hien Gap Lai. That's pretty much all I know. <laughs> Alrighty, let's find a place to eat. But we're gonna show you the Mauna Kea Marketplace entrance and all this good food too. Hawaii got some of the best seafood and we can't wait to show you our seafood tour that's coming up shortly after this video. So we're gonna start off with the Vietnamese halo halo because the ice is melting. So this is called chè ba màu. Ba màu actually means three colors. We have some beans and some jelly in the Vietnamese dessert. And ooh, they have the coconut milk too. And we're gonna pour all this in right now. So after you pour in the coconut milk, you grab your ice here and boom. And that's how you eat this version of halo halo. Chè. 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 Yeah, you blend it all together. Wow. One, two, three. The jelly is stringy, chewy, and when you put it with that coconut-like milk too, it makes for a really good dessert, along with the beans. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, you so do. much for watching. We appreciate it. One of our viewers is here with his wife. I'm from uh, California, Sacramento. Yeah. So now we're moving on to Bung Thật Nương, 
right in here you have the rice noodles with all the traditional veggies, the pickles, the sprouts, and then the pork. It's a grilled pork sausage, Vietnamese style, and is one of my favorite, favorite meats of all the Vietnamese dishes named Nung. They give you some fish sauce. So they have the mint here, some of the lettuce. So we're gonna mix it all together. We're gonna see what the pork spring rolls and noodles taste like all together. So what really stands out to me is the pork. It's like a lighter version of pork. It's more soft and it comes almost in like a meatball form. I can't say the spring rolls and noodles stand out because it does taste good. You can get this kind of spring rolls and noodles almost at any other good Asian market. Let's try another of my favorites, which is goi kung. What? Summer rolls. Summer rolls. Are you saying that? Goi kung. Roy. Roy. Kung. Kung. It's wrapped in rice papers and comes with thin slices of pork, shrimp. Let's try to dip it in the hoisin sauce. The sauce is thick and nice. I see pieces of chili in here. And let's have a bite. This is nice, simple, delicious and I really love the sauce. If you get it with the hoisin sauce, you already know that they're probably from South Vietnam. This is another dish, bánh bèo. I love bánh bèo. A hint of coconut taste on their dough. Some imitation shrimp here as a topping. And we will dip this into the fish sauce. Let's try it right here. This almost tastes like a shrimp chip, but in a more jello -y, softer form. And it is good. Woo! This is authentic, and they do it really good here. It tastes like the ones that my mom would make at home. Now, moving on to all the Vietnamese desserts. This is steamed banana cake. The coconut sauce is so thick. Wow, I can't wait to eat this. This is the best banana pudding cake I've ever had. Next up is pandan sticky rice with mung bean. That is a fun, chewy, light dessert. So when I open this, right here, it has all the filling right there. That is quite unique. It's the closest to a mochi. This has a lot more substance towards it. Our last item is what I really wanted because I've eaten it before. It is a nicely crafted, great tasting wafer. Two, one. Mmm. I didn't expect it to be that crispy. That crispy, flaky, tasty. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> love it, I love it. So much places to try out here in Chinatown. I mean, I think it's endless. Oh, nice. It finally dried up. Right now, we're moving on to the next stop. We are here at Old Kim's Korean Chicken. I heard nothing but good stuff about eating over here. And that's what we're gonna check out, so let's go inside. It looks small when you enter in, but uh, they actually have an extra spot where you can eat in, which I prefer because it's less noisy and looks more cozy. That is a whole lot of goodness. Oh my. That was quick too. 10 minutes for uh, all of this. Like eight minutes, actually, I was, I was counting. Can you hear the popping? Bim bim bab, pork belly, mandu. This looks like some fine dining pork belly. Like, it's served to like only royalty. Wow, look at the fat on that pork belly too. That looks amazing and fusionized. This is one of their most well-known dishes. Let's eat up. Oh yeah, the pork is so soft, it breaks so easily. The miso paste on top of the meat is what made it quite sweet and definitely different from a lot of the other food we've eaten. Sweet and salty at the same time. I think I give this an A in taste, an A in presentation. And along with this, you actually get purple rice and some kimchi and salad to eat along with your pork belly. I gotta say, one of the best kimchi I had and it's spicy. Oh. It's so deliciously hot and it's homemade here. One of the best kimchi I've had. For appetizers, we get a seaweed soup with small pieces of pork. 
came along with the meal and it tasted better than I expected. Because when I think about soup, I'm not excited for it, but it's pretty darn good. Now to their signature appetizer is the truffle mandu. Two, three. Mmm, that's really delicious with all the mushrooms inside. Not too oily and yeah, pretty good, pretty good. This is fresh, has a right texture towards it. I don't know what the truffle was. If I'm not wrong, the truffle is in the jelly. Oh yeah, that, that's not jelly. But it is, Ooh. but it is jelly. Oh, okay, so the truffle is in the small pieces of jelly. This is how you're supposed to eat it. Oh! Ooh. Should not eat that by itself. That's the saltiest jelly I've ever had. The main event is this hot stone bibimbap with Wagyu style beef. Another signature dish. And look at all the meat you're getting along with this dish. All the veggies too. Wow. I can eat this breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Everything stands out together and it just made for a reaction that I am not used to eating at all. Everything is fresh. They season this so well. The beef is so high quality. Thank you to the owner. Such a sweet, lovely lady. She gave this to us on the house. Now this looks like the corn on the cob, but no, it isn't. This is an actual dessert. Does this taste like a corn? I mean, it looks like a corn. I hope it doesn't taste like corn because that's not what I'm looking for when I eat a dessert. So let's dive in and let's see. It could be a corn ice cream. <laughs> Don't do that face. What? It could be a corn ice cream. I don't want to eat corn ice cream. No, but it could taste good. Though. I doubt it. No, I doubt it. They are too friendly to do that. So, <laughs> so let's dive in. Looks like ice cream to me. Hope it doesn't taste like corn. Three, two, one. It tastes like vanilla ice cream with some cheesecake in it. And that corn presentation on the outside really does stand out. The condensed milk with a hint of raspberry on top. That was pretty cool. And there is a bit of corn tasting here with the flakes on the side. So there's a corn theme going on here with the corn flakes. This is fun to eat. Super fun. We're gonna walk around Chinatown and we'll see you at the next spot. Good food can bring sunshine on a rainy day. Do you guys have a YouTube channel? We do, yeah. yeah. It's actually called Ashley and Wes. Ashley and Wes. We'll leave it down in the link below. We are here at the Royal Kitchen, and by popular demand, we have a special guest today who used to take me here as a kid and still asks me once in a while to come over here and grab her food from the Royal Kitchen because over here they have some of the best monopool. Without further ado, let me introduce you to my guest. Mom! Yeah. So I'm going up this way. Yeah. Bought some yummy goodies. We are gonna eat some of mom's favorite food from Royal Kitchen. And before we start, I need you to stop doing uh, one thing, mom, while we film. That's being so awesome. Because everybody keeps requesting my mom to come back in the video. From our Oahu part one food tour, I saw all the comments and everything was about my mob. But nothing was about me. Like, hey, Sean, how about you? You did a great job. So where do we start? Order your food, grab it, and go, because there's really um, no really place, a lot of places to eat here. But my son cleaned up this table, or else I wouldn't be sitting here. <laughs> Make sure everything was clean. And then I said, okay, then we will sit here and eat. This is the chasubao. 
which is um, there's all kinds of flavors. There's lup chong, there's kalua pork, there's curry chicken, and of course the famous pork, um, chasubao. So I just bought um, a few of the, their pork hash. They have great pork hash. He puts the whole thing in his mouth. Because that's what real men do. So that's K for Kalua pig, and they usually have P for Portuguese sausage, and they also have hot dog. And Lap Chong. Oh, how can you not have Lap Chong Manapur? Hey, we don't have Lap Chong Manapur over here. So. Well, I didn't get it. <laughs> and we just show what we have in here. Ooh, we have a lot of the char siu right here in this Manapur. But part of it is the show. So you like okay. do it in slow-mo cinema and you act like you're wild, like whoa. Excuse me. I didn't take any acting classes, thank you very much. <laughs> Gosh, like most amazing thing ever. Then you eat it. So we'll do it together, okay? Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> mm. First time I ate their Kalua pig manapua. It's good. I'm looking at my beautiful daughter-in-law. She's so wonderful. You gotta give her credit for being married to my son. Okay. <laughs> it's tasty, it's simple, and I love Royal Kitchen's bun. Yes, sweet roll bun. But not sweet, but the texture is the same. We gotta go to the char siu. Char siu is, that's my favorite. I always buy the char siu. And so let's dig into this. I dropped it. For those of you who've seen that, I dropped it. This is my favorite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Royal's Kitchen Manapua is the best Manapua I've had. I mentioned that in our Honolulu 33 Things to Do video. And in Chinatown, the best Manapua is right here at Royal Kitchen. Now, back to eating lunch plates with my mom. I took chow fan and, and half fried rice because I like them both. And then there's the roast duck. Of course, um, I love the things that you're not supposed to eat all the time, which is the um, sweet and sour um, pig's feet. I love pig's feet. Pig's feet, whoo, that's bringing me back some memories for the first time in Chinatown. You know yes. what? I want to eat pig feet for the first time. Hey, mom, why are you like, like dissing me, making so much like fun of me today? Because you're my son, I can't. And I think you've been coming here for uh, decades, yeah? Gee, you made me sound so <laughs> old. I want to say decades, I'm like, for a while. Not decades, because that would make me, you know, in my 60s, which I am. <laughs> yeah. Nee, you're cutting that out. So I'm gonna be a real man because in part one, I refuse to eat the chicken feet. And even though this is not chicken feet, it's pig feet, it's still feet and it kind of grossed me out, but I'm gonna be a real man and eat it today because mom is here. People from part one did talk smack about how I didn't eat the chicken feet. <laughs> no feet with nails. No. And, and chicken, <laughs> Chicken feet has nails on their chicken. So my girlfriend, Audrey, told me to, you could feed your, um, your dog um, chicken feet because it's good for them, yeah? So I bought some chicken feet, I took it home, I rubbed it with vinegar and water, and then I was looking at it and it grossed me out because there's toenails on each chicken feet. And then I couldn't stand it, so I cut off the toenails, and when I did that, it looks like a baby's finger. I was grossed out. So, I threw it away. I don't know, I just lost my appetite after hearing <laughs> that story. So we're ending the food tour here. So, mahalo for watching this video. Follow me at Hawaiian Traveler on Instagram that's located down below. And there's, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna eat, we're gonna eat it right now. Three, two, one. I forgot that this was even feet I was eating. So it's a pretty good, <laughs> it's pretty good meat. It's tasty, it's squishy, it's soft, it's tender, and that sweet and sour sauce really takes it over. Yes, it does, and it's good. I'm gonna try this Chinese dish right now with roast duck. Three, two, one. What was it like Nam Fung when Nam Fung was around? My piece was good because it was a little Oh tired. yeah, yeah, I think, I think your piece was a little bit better. So mm -hmm. maybe I can have a better piece. So let me, let me see if I can just change my mind just a little bit. That was a good piece. They make some good chow fun. Better than a lot of delicatessens that I go to. This 
Kayuk is popping. Oh! Look at that. Show them that skin that's charred. Wow. Now that's delicious. I don't even have to taste it to know that it's delicious. Wow, look at that char. What, what exactly is char? Not papa'a, but it's a little burnt. Oh my gosh, he put the whole thing in his mouth. Oh wow. Do you want a napkin? Mm, mm, mm. No napkin? Mm, 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 mm. How is it? Mm. See? You see when you put the whole thing in your mouth? You can't speak. Oh, that's a good thing. Give him another piece, Nee. I love my son. He's just my favorite son. He's my only son. That's why he's my favorite. That Cayuc was chunky, chewy, tasty, juicy. Did I already say juicy? It's Cayuc. Cayuc, and I haven't had a better piece of Cayuc before. See, my son, he's Chinese, but I don't know. I'm 25% Chinese, and my dad's 50% Chinese, 50% Hawaiian. And remember when my dad used to always take me here when I was a kid, I used to yes. complain? In Chinatown, yes. That was his thing. Every Saturday was to come to Chinatown. He was a very proud Chinese man. Now today, here we are, and I come here quite often. <laughs> I'm Hawaiian, Filipino, and Chinese. I think this will even go better if I ate it with a little bit of the kuyak. Is that how you say it? A little bit of what? The kuyak. What is it called? Kao yuk. And I think, <laughs> and I think these noodles will taste really good <laughs> with the kao yuk. Thanks to you guys that when you guys leave a comment and correct me, it actually helps with the YouTube algorithm. So maybe sometimes I should say um, a couple of things that are maybe not so correct. I wanted to thank everyone out there who watches my son's video. I call him Ikaika at home. His name is Ikaika Okalani. It means strength from heaven. That's how I felt when he was born. Uh, I appreciate all that you folks do and how you folks give him comments. And of course me for requesting <laughs> me to be on um, the next video. And hopefully- They only want to see you, Bob. <laughs> I want to be, I'll be on another video in a less a better environment without my hair blowing all over the place and making sure nobody steals my bag. I keep looking back. Kaika, hey. indoors. Well, one thing I can say is that uh, my mom and my dad, they grew up tough. I mean, growing up in Kalihi, in the, I'll just say in the earlier days, I won't say what years. No kaoi. Yeah, it was a tough time. That being said, we're gonna finish up this meal and we'll see you guys in the next place. Aloha. Aloha. My favorite daughter-in-law and my favorite son. The next stop is Chi Kong Look Fun Factory and it's cash only. Chinatown is not that big here so you can walk to most of the places. Right next to the Vietnamese stand, our friends We've heard good things about this place over here and we're gonna go try it out. From reputable sources, it's the place to eat. Let's go check it out. Hello. We're here to try out some good look fun. Char siu, dry shrimp, mushroom, one piece, three dollars, two piece, six dollars. So basically for every piece, it's three dollars. It, and for the look fun, every piece is two dollars. Which is kind of funny because uh, usually when you buy more pieces, the price gets cheaper. But over here, one piece is $3. It's like a mathematical calculator from my elementary times. They teach you this. 9 times 3 is 27, 10 times 3 is 30. Just say $3 for every piece you buy. We're going to try the one of each fun. So they have char siu, shrimp, mushroom, and look fun. And we're going to try one piece of each. They're giving us access to see how the look fun is made in the back. So let's go check it out. Wow. One piece is just not a small piece. It's this. This is for $3. Yeah, so you saw in the back where they have all the equipments. Look fun or fun to eat. 
they're actually also hard to make. I bet you most people who feel like eating look fun, they go here. And look how big this thing is. You would think that it costs $3 for just this one piece, but no, Ni and I divide it and it'll be $3 for these two pieces. So we're gonna eat and see how it is. But usually you don't eat it like this. Usually you cut it in pieces. Yes, look fun are typically cut into pieces. They are commonly served with soup, meats, or a variety of dim sum. Just know it's rarely eaten by itself. We're gonna eat it just with this, without the sauce and see how it tastes like. Are you ready? Three, two, one. This tastes like, on a scale of one to 10, it tastes like a seven and a half by itself, but that's pretty good because when you add the sauce to it, it comes out to like a nine or a 10. What a texture and the dough is so thick. The Vietnamese look funs are usually thinner. That's a lot of look fun in one piece. And if I was to factor in how much we get and the quality of it, you can't go wrong here. I've never seen big pieces like this for this price. Good to bring home and mix it up with whatever meat I have at home with some fish sauce. Next up is look fun with dried shrimp. Wow, what a big piece. Let's have a bite together with all the shrimps here on the top. Mm. Yeah. I like this one better. Just because the shrimp is like small pieces of saltiness added into the look fun. Wham! Look at that big slab of look fun. It's like a big fish or something, you know? We just took this out of the sea. I can't wait to see how it tastes like by itself because I never had look fun by itself. It's like eating rice. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know I mean, what to you say. can't you can't <laughs> review. You can't say, oh, rice is so delicious. For this, for only two dollars, that's worth bringing home to to add to your other meals. And I never would have thought that there's a place that gives so much for such high quality for a cheap price. We're gonna rest our tummies a little bit because we've eaten so much and we still have more food to eat. So let's go for a walk for now. Anytime you see someone where they have the Hawaii's vest and all the placards throughout the years, you know it's good. So if you're gonna get your flowers and your lays, get it from here, Chinatown, at Sydney's Lay and Flower Shop. Just thought we add this to the food tour video. We are here at Lamb's Kitchen and they have authentic Cantonese food. Let's go check it out. Let's see if I can still jump after eating all this food. Yeah, I still got it. Let's go in. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Hi. Uh, let's go in. Oh, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty small. Two. Right there. Bam. That's what I love about Chinatown here. Things don't look so great from the outside, but when you go on the inside, you feel like you're entering a different world. This is the Chow Chung Fun with wonton and tendon and beef. Look at that thing. This thing is actually off menu. I don't speak Cantonese, but I just showed them a picture and they were still able to give us this dish. I think you could smell it coming through your screen right now. Tell me how it's, no, I'm just joking though, but it is quite steaming, it's popping and wow, I can't wait to dive in. We have another amazing dish too. Beef, plank, tendon and look fun noodle soup. As you know, we had some of the look fun earlier. This is mixed with this delicious soup right now. It's cold outside and what a great way to eat soup today. What a great way to eat soup today. And I wanted to highlight too is that I noticed right over here, the soup handles, the chopsticks, everything is right there. And this chili sauce is quite famous in here. Look at that. So they are not messing around when it comes to their Cantonese food. I want to dive in. Let's do it. Yeah, this is tasty. Yeah, this is a good too. Good broth. I believe that they make it more neutral so you can add all the sauces yourself. Look at this piece of tendon right here. Mm. Mm, mm. You only taste nothing but the best. I want to try something that looks fun with the beef. Oh. Mm. The beef really flank good. is a total winner. I mean, oh my. And it goes so well with the broth and the look fun 
I have to say that of all the meals we've eaten in this part two of Chinatown food tour, this is my favorite. I don't know what it is about that beef, but why is it so good? Why do you think it's so good? The beef is so good because it's so tender and soft. Looking around, we noticed everyone was eating the beef flank and tendon look fun soup. We found the reason why the beef here is so special. They slow cook this. That's why it's so tender. It's so tender. Rose is a regular customer when the weather is not so nice. She showed us some other delicious dishes. This place is a winner. So we want to move on now to the next dish, which was off menu. Since it's off menu, we have to put it in big captions, exactly what it is right on the screen. This is the Chao Chung Fun with beef tendons and wonton. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chao Chung Ooh. Fun <laughs> with beef and wonton. That so, is correct. Don't judge me. This is harder to say than you think. Now, let's eat. One, two, three. The beef. Soft, tender slices right to your teeth. That's why you have to come here for the beef. Their beef is amazing. Trust us on this, okay? Now we're trying to see how good this chow fun is. Ready? Bam. Because it's glazed with all the sauce, it tastes so delicious. But this is how you should eat chow fun and look fun. Of all the places I've eaten in Chinatown, I can say that this place is the most surprising. I mean, I came in here with no expectations and I'm blown away. They have the wonton here. It is glazed into the oyster sauce. It's like a brain. It does look like a brain. It's like Krang from Ninja Turtles right here. Oh, wait, let me rotate. Yeah, there you go. Boom, that looks like a brain. Hopefully this makes me smarter after I eat this. Three, two, two one. Mmm, mmm, watch out. I think there's a piece of shrimp inside. Oh, see, my taste buds tasted this uh, shrimp inside. But one thing I could tell from that wonton is that when you chew into it, the juices just splurted right in your mouth. I mean, the juices came straight out. Boom, explosion, right down to your esophagus. We can recommend these two meals highly. So we're gonna finish this up and we'll see you guys in a couple hours. Nanfeng, home of the best roast duck and pork in all of Chinatown. I keep hearing all the great reviews. I want to see what all the hype is about. A lot of the locals love it here, but unfortunately, it's closed now. I mean, it's kind of heartbreaking to see the sign that says, Hawaii Commercial Real Estate for sale. Please don't take your favorite places for granted because one day it could be here and the next day it might not. So enjoy the place while it's here, support local, and let's keep the memories of the great places over here that make Chinatown. That is Char Hung Sat. It's been closed for maybe a couple of years now. I heard many great stories about eating here. People have great memories. And if you do, please let me know in the comment section down below. City streets, bellies wild with discontent. Hey. Oh, I see one. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to see you. Nice to meet you. I was gonna ask me to be in my blog. Well, what's your name? Teresita. We are here at the Ole's Thai Lao Cuisine. I don't think we've had a Thai Lao Ocean place in Chinatown part one or two, and we heard good things. My friend Gina from Wahana Eats said that it's good over here, so we're gonna check it out. One thing I like already that it's open daily from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. It's rare to find a place in Chinatown that's open 12 hours a day, seven days a week. So you can always count on Ole's, and you wanna go check it out and see what they got in here. Let's go. Look at this place. It is popping. Oh, wow, look. Whoa. Whoa. It is a different world back here. 
So on the outside, it looks like a small area, but you walk through and you got all this. This place is huge, it's popping. There is a lot of seating here and whoa. We are blown away by the presentation of this place. Wow. And the menu selection is massive. I ordered a Thai coffee and I didn't expect it like this. They go, you want boba? I was like, sure. And this is the Thai coffee. That is massive. This is bigger than my head. This is not your typical drink like this. That's what I'm talking about. If you love black coffee, if you love that boba filled, it adds a really good blend towards it. Oh, very delicious. So here comes the papaya Whoa. salad, medium spice level, uh, lot sausage, beef jerky, vermicelli noodles, um, vegetable and pork rind. All right, enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is a big batter with a wide variety. Lao sausage, beef jerky, Lao shrimp papaya salad, noodles. Man, they are not messing around here. Oh, and a bit of pork skin. And the pork skin. You can call it pork rinds, right? I love pork skin. Mm. And it's just a good side dish to our amazing platter already. So they gave you some salad to actually wrap it all together. That's really good. But let's try each food item one by one. Let's start with the beef jerky. Mm, okay. Super chewy. A little tough, salty, with a lot of jerky filling inside. And this is jerky on a whole nother level. It is just more dense, more intense, and a whole lot of taste. It is, I mean, I think I got a, a piece that is a little tough, or is yours tough too? Mine's just tough too, really. Yeah, I think they're all a little bit tougher. The beef jerky was a little dry, but I think it's meant to be that way, and, but it's also very meaty too. Look at this fat part right here. Mm. Oh, oh you're a real woman. You just like spit into that thing. Mmm, this piece is so good. This is the best piece I've had. I already changed my mind. This piece is delicious. Try it. Okay. Can I? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some pieces are dried and then some pieces have a lot of fat in it. I almost gave up on you, beef jerky. I almost gave up on you. I'm changing my mind about this. Look, even this piece has a lot of fat and meat. Oh, the Laotian sausage. Ooh. How does that look? It doesn't look appetizing, but uh, does it taste appetizing? That's what I want to know. Let's okay. find out. Very special sausage that I haven't had before. Look at all the seasoning too, and the chilies and lemongrass. I see so much of seasoning inside and Wow, look at that. Look at all the chilies too, because it is a bit spicy. It's spicy. They said that the, their mild version of spicy is really spicy if you're an American. This is burning my mouth right now, in a good way. Not literally burning my mouth, but you get what I'm saying, beat spicy food. This is the Laotian papaya salad, and it looks spicy. <laughs> I think I can handle spice. Okay, ready, go. Oh, the chili kicks in after. Oh. So before the spice kicked in, it tasted like a fresh papaya salad with a lot of dressing, and that was really good. I taste way more fish sauce in here. It's dense all around, and it is so spicy. So I think this is a great introduction to Laotian food. It's very similar to the Thai food, just way more saturated but this Laotian platter is high quality and they're not messing around when they make this. I think this dish is a winner. It's a big portion and there's a lot more other food bases we gotta try. So we'll see you guys in the next space.
it's a new day and we're heading back to Mauna Kea Marketplace. Now, let's go back to the food court. Here, you can find some of the best cheap eats. Chinatown has a reputation for being maybe not the most safest place. I can say that I forgot my umbrella here yesterday and I went back and it's still here. Look at this amazing umbrella. How can I pass by a $7 plate lunch? Okay, I gotta get me a plate lunch. I'll take that please. Yes. Charlie, yes, just one. Cool. And thank you. Yeah, ten and yeah. You can just give me back 10, please. Yeah, just 10 to tip. And may I have a couple of ice, please? <laughs> Got me my $7 plate. Now let's go back. We had to stop off and show off Mei Mei's Chinese style barbecue because it is ridiculously cheap. And it only costs $7 for this plate. $7 for all this. We have some duck here. Look at that glaze. They're pretty darn good. I just can't get over this portion. And they don't hold back either. I mean, they give a lot of rice. And wow. You have some of the duck here. You have some of the char siu. The char siu is just popping. Look at that. I love the char siu. It's really sweet. Keep in mind that although the duck and the char siu is good, it's a little dry and they do have a lot of bones in it. I mean, it's not finely made, but going back, is it worth every bit of the $7 here for this plate lunch? Yes, I can attest to that. Cheap eats do exist in Hawaii. It's very rare to find them, but this is one of the rare finds and it's worth every dollar. Another food stand that caught our attention is the Vietnam pho and sandwiches. We found out that some of the foods that are sold from the Vietnamese stand, gone and tea, are made right here. Em mới mua bên chị ở bên kia kìa. Ủa mà ai làm vậy? Ở đây làm. Oh my god, that's so fun. Ở đây nổi tiếng cái bánh mì. All the bánh mì is right here. They have egg rolls and pork chop. Wow. Many traditional Vietnamese dishes. Alrighty, so we have some banh mi and this looks promising to say the least. Inside with pate, butter, Asian ham, marinated pork, pickled vegetables, coriander, and fresh chilies. This is the special version. They have pork inside, which is very typical Vietnamese style. And I can already tell that this is the right bread. No high fusion, no nothing, just simple, authentic, and very similar to what I get at home. The difference with the homemade banh mi is every household makes their own special sauce and grilled pork marinade. I don't know if you guys got anything on this banh mi. <laughs> We've eaten some homemade banh mi with your family and it is a winner. I mean, we've already had some really good banh mi at Koo Long too. Yeah, Koo Long has some really good banh mi. The banh mi here is more new school with mayo and savory marinated sirloin pork slices. Ready, go. That's delicious. This is so delicious. This ranks up there with some of the best banh mi I've had. It's tasty, it's fresh. I love the bread, how crispy it is. Mm. This is just the right amount of veggies and meat. I didn't go up to eating banh mi like Ni did, but I think they have some of the dressing with the mayo a little bit. It's actually the butter and the pate mixed together. And with all the pickles, it kind of creates a creamy sauce inside when you take a bite. I've eaten lots of banh mi and this ranks right up there. So I grew up eating banh mi my whole life. I only feel confident saying that the banh mi is good if I can recommend it to other Vietnamese folks. And I can tell you, I can recommend this for other Vietnamese folks. I mean, for the value. 
We also stopped by at Dim's Village for some quick pork hash and shrimp dumplings. It only costs $4.50 for three pieces and the pork hash is very meaty. If you want some of the best dim sum in Chinatown, Fuklam restaurant is worth the visit. We were given some Filipino skewers from Destiny and Lee's Eatery. Man, that is shining. The pork taste is really good. It tastes like any other good pork, but I think what really stands out is the glaze. I think we're gonna have to come back here at another time to do a proper Filipino food tour and add that to the mix. And if there's any other Filipino food places that we gotta check out, please let us know in the comment section down below. Now, off to the next place. What's up, my man? <laughs> wow, there is just a lot of good eatery inside here. We could do an entire video on the Mauna Kea Marketplace food court area. I mean, there's a lot of good food, a lot of cheap eats, and just a whole lot more to explore. So, but we gotta keep it moving, and now off to the next space. The next space is actually right behind me and outside of the Mauna Kea Marketplace. We are here at Mickey's Cafe and I couldn't resist. They have a durian smoothie. And if you don't know much about it, just know that it's banned in certain parts of Asia because it's very smelly. Let's go get that durian smoothie. I'll get the durian smoothie for $8 and the sugarcane slush for $7. Okay, thank you. Durian sugarcane. Durian to the left, sugarcane to the right. Durian tip. I'll remember. I want to dive into the, the durian right away. Let's give it a try. Oh, yeah, that is a very distinct taste. Durian doesn't taste that good to me. It kind of does taste how it smells. It's, it's a little stink. It takes getting used to having a durian. Oh man. <clears throat> Whew. Now we're gonna try the next one, which is the sugar cane slush. Ooh, that is pure sugar heaven and a whole lot of cold freshness. This is a place for all durian lovers or if you want a really fresh smoothie. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm gonna finish this too. <laughs> We're here at the Pig and the Lady, probably the most popular place in all of Chinatown, Honolulu. They serve Vietnamese food with a, a twist. It's fusion food. Let's go inside. Man, this place is happening and it is busy. Busy, busy, busy. It's a very popular place here in Chinatown and it is recommended to make a reservation. We haven't done that today, so hopefully there will be two seats open for us. This place is happening. We walked in around noontime. It's super busy and we were asked if we had reservations. We didn't, so here we are at the bar. First, let's get the famous Hanoi egg coffee. The egg coffee in Vietnam is a very popular drink in Hanoi which offers a special taste that you should try for yourself. I know it's really good in Hanoi and it's good in here too because we've been here before. I think we have to blend it all together. Cheers to 50k subscribers because that's what we're shooting for. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Wow, this is really good. I mean, the coffee is strong. I like the dessert kind of concept towards it and it's quite different. This thing is so special. It's delicious, it's creamy, it's so thick and I'm not even a coffee person but I love this a whole lot. Let's set the record straight and try the most famous pho French dip for $19. It's the most expensive banh mi we've ever had. Let's see if it's worth it. That looks like it's worth the price because this looks like an entire plate lunch and a banh mi. I mean, they have 12-hour slow-roasted 
beef brisket. And all the other main ingredients in a pho is now in a banh mi. Cooked sprouts, onions, and cilantro. I've never seen such a big juicy brisket inside of a banh mi before. I feel like I'm showing you guys something that's worth a whole lot of money and that's precious. And I'm gonna break it in two right now so that we can have one each. Let's break it, wow. So let's try this, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay, three, two, one, go. That was some fine brisket, all the veggies you expect that's fresh, and that cilantro, that greenery that you can taste on the bread and from the inside. Oh, a lot of other places, they may use other sauces or mayo, but they use that cilantro, and that, that was different. Wow. This is the most special bun mei I've ever had in my life, and the most expensive as well, but hey, this is so unique. I think it's worth it. I really think it is. No, it's worth it. I think we should dip this in the pho soup. For $7, we added the mini pho noodle soup for dipping. How did they thought about this? Dipping the banh mi into the pho is so delicious. Now, let's try the mini pho on its own. The mini pho has no meat, but how's the broth? It's a little salty for my taste, but I think this is meant to be the dip for the banh mi. I'm not sure if their actual pho is this salty as well, but a little bit salty for my taste. We met our viewers, Tim. Hi. <laughs> Tim and Faye, they're so sweet. Old school, traditional food, new school, fusion. You put the two together, you get a big crowd. We actually got the bathroom. Oh, is it fancy? Yeah, it's funny. We go inside. That was a really good experience, so now off to the next place. Later. Now we're back, rested, and ready to roll here at JJ Dolan's. They've always served great pizza here, and I think it's a perfect spot to end the night before we go to the Hawaii Theater and see Margaret Cho perform. Let's go inside. It is packed inside of JJ Dolan, so hopefully we can get a seat. Thanks, uh, all good, and that's great enough, man. Thank you, thank you. It is super busy here in JJ Dolan's. Everyone is waiting for the Margaret Cho Show at the Hawaii Theater over here. The pizzas are bigger, more quality, and you get to mix half and half. And that's exactly what we did. Half the spinach and garlic, half the jackal. Look at this. The spinach, the garlic. Ooh. Cheers. The crust is perfectly edged and crispy. When you put it together with this soft bread with the ricotta and spinach and garlic, it is heavenly. Now, we're gonna try the next slice. This is the Giacomo. Italian sausage, olives, pizza, cheese, and this thing was ono delicious. Let's eat up. This amazing pizza is enough for two people. It's more toppings, and the bread complements it. And it all goes well together, which is why JJ Dolan's has been known for great pizza for decades. I know this is not Asian food, but we are here in Chinatown. I wanted to show you guys this special place. I mean, look how much people are in here. And what better way to end this food tour before we see Margaret Cho at the Hawaii Theater, which is only a 10 second walk across the street. So we're gonna finish this pizza, and we'll see you guys at the show. Whew. That place is busy, busy, busy. It is 6.54. And we wanted to end the night off here at the Hawaii Theater watching Margaret Cho. We wanted to thank you guys for sticking around for this whole entire Chinatown food tour part two. 
there's anything we missed, please let us know in the comment section down below. I will feature it in part three. If you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do. We're trying to hit 50K. I want to say a big mahalo. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later in the next vlog. Aloha. Yes, of course, of course. Oh, no, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ali. Where are you coming from? Oh, I live here. Oh, you live here? Oh, okay. Okay, right on. Yeah, we're going to Market Trail. Oh yeah, us too, us too. Oh, awesome, awesome. Good Sorry, we're doing pizza. Here we are in the Hawaii Movie Theater. We gotta put this away because they don't allow it. But uh, we'll enjoy this show and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Aloha.